Please welcome to the stage the woman I was portraying tonight and Equality Now's 2017 honorary, honorary Risa De Angulo. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here, because by being here, you show that you want to make a difference. I want to also um, recognize T and Jaha, who were the other two women whose stories were read. They're in um, table 18. Wow, <laughs> Here, after hearing that, I see her and I do see my 15-year-old. But I saw my 15-year-old who was very broken, who really thought that there was no reason to live. I tried to commit suicide twice um, after being raped and after constantly being told that it was my fault. And then, I decided to break the silence because something inside me told me to keep on going. And then I had the judicial system told me that it was my fault. And they, I didn't find any lawyers who wanted to take my case. I didn't find any judges who wanted to take my case. My case was sent to the Agriculture and Livestock Court where they deal with matters of animals and land. So I decided that I was gonna become my own lawyer. And, and I did. <laughs> And a lot of people think what I think about sexual violence and the life that you live with sexual violence is like walking in a dark alley where you can't see anything. And it's extremely horrible and it's scary. And whenever you can get away from it, you try to get away. But I've decided to stay. I decided to stay because I know that there's hundreds of other girls living in the same situation. And at age 17, I started the only center in Bolivia to provide services for children who've been sexually abused because I want to provide for others what no one did for me. But then it comes the question about it's really hard to do my own case. I can be strong for others, but when it has to be with me, it's, it's really hard. And so in this black alley where I felt totally alone and hearing noises and not knowing what was gonna happen, I found a whole team. I found Equality Now with a lot of little flashlights saying, you're not together, you're not alone. We're together in this and we're gonna end sexual violence together. And they've been my strength when I've been weak. And today, um, we're taking my case to the Inter-American Court with Equality Now, and we're suing the government of Bolivia for all the human rights violation in my case and all the girls of Bolivia. So. so I wanna, I wanna invite everyone to join that dark, nasty alley. And I know it sounds like, why would you go there? But it feels lonely. So when there's more people walking together and the more flash flashes they are, the less dark it seems. And there's just what you can do is ask those people who are working frontline, ask them, how can I help? Just a simple, it's a simple question. Because sometimes it can be as simple as wear a blue ribbon, which is a sign against sexual violence. Show girls that they're not alone. So thank you so much for being here and thank you so much for giving me the honor to be part of this great organization and be able to change and make this world a better world. Thank you so much. <laughs>